is having a good day. It's Tuesday. It's very cold. Two for Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty chilly here. And it I, was so warm like last week. Yeah, I think it's cold. Everywhere. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, I heard that too. It was a cold snap. In the U.S. anyway. Snap. So, hey, one thing I could do while we're waiting. Hey, we look very clear. You can clear see. Clear as a bell. Every gray hair <laughs> I ever thought about having. Which is you can't funny. see all my facial blemishes, though, so that's good. <laughs> Not that clear. Uh, you don't have any. <laughs> yeah, some. I mean, look at here. Uh, I just want to see. That focus? Uh, yeah. It's, oh, it's checked back. Mm-hmm. I would uncheck it. I would, too. I don't know why it does that. Maybe it's when we shut OBS down. Okay, we're going to turn right, it Right, I don't know what that's about. Stop sabotaging us. OBS. That's some BS OBS. <laughs> All right, well, it's back off. One thing we should do, if you'll remind me at the end of the stream, is I'm going to shut it and then open, open it, it again and just see if it changes it back. I mean, there's there... almost no way I'm going to remember that, but I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be some reason it's doing that. Yeah. Anyway, we have two viewers. That's pretty good. <clears throat> I mean, there's that pod champs going on. So I bet a bunch of our viewers are going to be over there. Typing in the chat, mm -hmm. Cog, Monka S, <laughs> Monka W, Lol W, and then copy and paste that like 30 times. Yeah. And so I hope that they're having fun over there doing that. Definitely. <laughs> and I'm sure that Ludwig is much more entertaining than we are. In fact, let me what? just. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. <laughs> Ludwig versus Mr. Beast. But Ludwig is my favorite, uh, is my favorite Mario Bros. Koopa. So, mm. is, I wonder if he, is he named after that? I think he pronounces it Ludwig. Maybe that's just his name. But, People um, are named that. That's true. <laughs> is the character where they pronounce it Ludwig? Maybe there's like a British... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It might be Ludwig, but I always have pronounced it Ludwig. In which game? In Super Mario. Oh, Super, Super Mario. Mario. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's one of the... Uh, it's like Bowser's son. I think it's Bowser's oldest son. Okay. You know Bowser, right? I know the name. He's the main bad guy. I remember from yeah. when, when I played. <laughs> He's a big turtle. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. Yeah, that was, um, I was not good. I kept falling off the platform. <laughs> that is the problem with the game, right? Hey, Scottish Demon Goat. If I didn't fall, if, if I didn't uh, fall off the platform, I'd be good. <laughs> yeah. That is true. <laughs> I can believe it. Hey, Scottish Demon Goat. Um, you're doing some monka ass over there. Hey, Bishop Takes. Yeah, Even there's a champagne. There's a big event today. Hey, Lukey Pookie, chess coach. Nice. How's, How's it going? It going? Chess coach? Do I drink champagne? Well, not on a regular basis. Do you? <laughs> right. Yeah. Who drinks champagne all the time? <laughs> I certainly have had it before. You know, my go-to drink is a Stella. You have a plug. Oh, for your champagne? All Going right. to have some scent. Oh, cool. to me? Yeah. Well, that's so nice. How's it going, kangaroo? No, why, why are you sending it to be nice or you're plugging something? Or what does plug mean? All right. <laughs> Yay, whatever the reason. Yes, yeah, Stella's my drink. Stella's my drink. <laughs> you can't drink it all? Enough with with enough time, you could, I think. Oh yeah, I would love to um to have it if you can't drink it all. What happened? Did you get like a whole case or something? Hey Max and Jack. Yeah, Stella's um star drink. <laughs> what does that mean? I didn't understand the joke either. And he did a little kappa. Now what does that mean? Star Maybe it's a pun. Like, is there a star named Stella? Or is it like from a streetcar named Desire? It could be. I didn't. I didn't watch that, so I don't know. Oh, Stella means star. Oh, it means star. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. It's stellar. <laughs> like, stellar is a space oh, yeah. word. So I could see how they're root. That. Yeah. Thank you, chess coach. Yeah, now listen, I'm excited about the uh, champagne. And don't let me down. Oh, you sent me a DM? Okay. All right, I'll check it. I got to get back on there. I get messages, you know, everywhere. 
So then I just stop checking the messages because right. <laughs> there are too many to read. <laughs> hey, Bonarici. <laughs> Looks like you got some challenges here. All right, yeah, I'm going to get started. I was out, got all excited about the impending champagne. Of course, The Rock sent you a four-minute challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Classic The Rock. Mm -hmm. He's got to be a rebel. Your face is a mess. All right, stop looking at the chat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, haven't, I wasn't playing. It didn't count yet. All right, against the goat himself, the Brazilian goat. Hate alt F4, 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 okay. Now I'm not going to look again. Champagne Supernova, classic oasis. How's the pog going today, the pog champs? They're pogging around. <laughs> I prefer porgy, but, you know, that's just me. I love you, porgy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Porky. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, I might sacrifice. That? I like I don't it. Know why I did that? <laughs> Just pretend like it's on purpose. <laughs> it's so bad. All right. Mr. Beast blundered his queen. That's Mr. shocking. Mr. Beast. Now, who is Mr. Beast? Somebody help me out. He's a famous dude. You know. There's a YouTube channel called Daily Dose of Ben Feingold where he takes clips of my streams and uploads. He gets more views than we did. Wow, that's crazy. He gets Wait. more views than the original. <laughs> Daily uh, Dose of Ben Feingold. Well, I mean, that's because we need a, you know, we need a YouTube editor. Mm -hmm. That's the facts, is we need a YouTube editor. And said he just have me. Can you send me that link, Ben? GM Benjamin Feingold. <laughs> oh, he did it in the chat. Well, in, in the chat <laughs> is useless. Like, email it to me. Anyway, we need a YouTube editor. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. We need some st We need a staff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a magical wizard staff? <laughs> I'm just tired. I can't get everything done, and it's real stressful. Um, Look at this past pawn you got. Protected past pawn. Not sure what he's doing is legal. No permission from us. Yeah, but if he uh, edits it enough, then he... Uh, my understanding is that it's it's okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he has to edit it a lot. and Or, like, put pictures of his own Yeah, I mean, John, you know, John does it. But he might have uh, permission from the people, right? Anyway, obviously, if you have permission, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. See if there's a statue of limitations. A statue of limitations, yes. Classic Seinfeld. One of them has 500K. Yeah, send me the link. Send me the link. Just he doesn't me. edit them at all? See, that is a little suspicious. A little sus. A little suspicious. Come on, go faster. Well, I'm thinking about a, a move. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would assume you would. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I already blundered material. Come on, I'd crush him here. Yeah, but you're, I would you just play and, fast and be losing. I'm me. I've got a lot of. Uh, I got a lot more swagger. You need. You need some swagger. Come on. He better be donating a lot, yes. Who better be donating a lot? The guy who runs the channel that's getting all those views from my dad's stream. Mm-hmm. Well, looks like Scottish Demon Go doubled up on the bubble up. Classic strategy there. Mm hmm. Oof. Classic exchange sack. I like it.
X Clan. Queen D8 was best, though. Mm hmm. All right, GG. Good game. Oh, no, wait a minute. Let me look at the chat for a second. All right. Um, the guy who runs the channel is a fan. <laughs> you know, I guess I care less about that. I just want to. I just want the links emailed to me, but um, don't necessarily care about him and making money as as getting our channels going. <laughs> so uh, he's playing a Tarash with Knight F three instead of Knight E two, uh, which is the usually the Korchnoi Gambit. So, obviously, this is the way to go, etc. Mm -hmm. That's the main line of the Korchnoi Gambit. Instead, you took it first, the Karen Gambit. Yeah, I was, <laughs> yeah trying to hurry. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, it's losing, but got some chances here. Yeah, I mean, not much happened. And then he forked you. Yeah, just nothing happened in the game. And then he threatened mate with this move. Mm. It actually threatens to win your queen because you could go here, but okay, that's not <laughs> that's not helpful. Mm -hmm. But yeah, anyways, it was going to be a win on time, you know, because he had like a minute more, so not so bad to lose by material then. Yeah. The Goat Boy Gambit. <laughs> All right, let me see what people are saying for a second. All right. Can I? I'm just real frustrated. I feel I'm difficult to find to get people. We need people to help us. Good help is hard to find. <laughs> That's true. I want a YouTube editor. I want one right now. <laughs> uh. Anyway. His com the comments on the video are golden. <laughs> golden comments. <laughs> All right, I was just seeing if anybody. Well, get that Karen raid. <clears throat> That's right. If you can't find good people, find bad people. Well, we've had plenty of bad. Can't we at least find mediocre people? <laughs> like, come on, you don't have, you don't have to go straight to bad. Okay. <laughs> You know? We've had bad. You know, yes, yes. It's our turn for good. Do it anyway. Oh, because I'll do it, but I know nothing about technical stuff. <laughs> well, that that is a handicap, Kangaroo. That's, <laughs> that's for sure. Let's see who you're playing. Lowell? I've seen Lowell on my dad's stream as well. Mm hmm Yeah, Lowell's been here. Been here, done that. Or it should be been here, done this. Such mediocre support, yes. But Kangaroo, you could uh, just say that you're doing the work, but then outsource it to somebody else, you know? And then just claim that you did it. Be a, an extra middleman. That's what we need is more middlemen. I saw this article... Uh, is make me a little mad, <laughs> honestly. Mm -hmm. It was about how, um, as most people know, you can't get a PlayStation 5. And the reason is that there are scalpers who have, like, robots who just buy them instantly from Best Buy, Target, uh, you know, Amazon, <clears throat> any place that, Newegg, any place that sells PlayStation 5s, they just have robots that buy them instantly. And then they sell them for, like, twice as much. And so everybody hates scalpers, right? Because mm -hmm. then normal people can't get PlayStation 5s. And then I saw an article about how the scalpers were sad about it. Like, how can we get such a bad reputation? Like, you know, like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, are you totally... In other, uh, in other endeavors, scalping is just illegal. Like, if you buy a bunch of tickets to a sporting event, and then you sell the tickets for more than you bought them for, that's illegal. And then that's what they're doing in this arena. And then they're sad that we're complaining about it, you know? Like, we can't even complain about it? <laughs> They're not even facing legal action. They're like, you can't even complain about this. <laughs> Come on. How entitled can you be? 
So entitled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ridiculous, all tough for Ridiculous stuff. It was a nightmare getting my Nintendo Switch, too. Good use of night with a K. Yeah, luckily I've had a, a Switch for years before it was a pandemic, so it wasn't as difficult. But yeah, I heard that Nintendo Switches are, are uh, difficult to come by, even as, as difficult as PlayStation 5, maybe. But I haven't been trying to do this, so. Yeah, well, anyways, uh, all that has to happen to stop this is for uh, Amazon and other websites to not allow it. But I guess they they don't care because they're being bought anyway. They don't care who buys it. Just give us money, you know. I get it, but, well, what are you going to do? That's to say we can't even complain about the scalpers. That's taken it to a new level of ridiculousness, of preposterousness. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Yeah. I hear you. Only streamers have PlayStation 5s. So I think they're a made-up product. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a good conspiracy theory. I like it. That's true, Frosty. That is very true. Maybe the Illuminati have bought all the PS5s. That's true. That's a possibility. Good game. Mm, so slow. A little slow. The yes. Illuminati, <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. I didn't see that game at all. I was too upset about the scalpers. No, wait, tell me again. I, was, I can only understand... The issue. So scalpers are buying PlayStation 5s like automatically. Yes, I knew about that. And then that. selling them for twice as much. Yeah. And then so then everybody hates the scalpers because we can't get PlayStation 5s. Mm -hmm. And then they're complaining that we're upset about their unethical behavior, <laughs> basically. The scalpers are Yeah, the scalpers are like, it's not fair that people give us a bad name when we're just business entrepreneurs. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's what they're like. This is uh, not a great way for black to play for equality. I think white should be a little better here, generally. I mean, is aren't there laws about it? Um... I guess not. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but there, it's it's happening, so I don't really know what the laws are. Mm -hmm. But like I was mentioning, if, if you did this for a sporting event, it would just be illegal. Mm -hmm. But for somehow, it's not illegal for, uh, for PlayStations. Mm -hmm. I want my PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, so clearly, you know, it's a little passive for Black. And this is the problem with the setup is that Black wants to play d6 to blunt the bishop, but and it, it's just passive. Yeah. Should Karen have played c4? She could play with c4, knight c3, but I don't think it's wrong to do this and play the pawn break that she wanted to play, which was a4, a5. That's the right pawn break. As I've taught you. In a mm -hmm. different position, but you applied it correctly. Mm-hmm. I remember that. And this move wasn't good by your opponent. He just went back, which is good. But that didn't hurt you to go here, and he just wasted two moves. So now white's better. Even, I mean, this move looks pretty annoying, don't you think? Um, I was afraid to go there. I think it wins. Because I thought, um, you know, discovered something that there was... <laughs> yeah, but if you're threatening this right now, he can't discover you while that's threatened. He has to defend that. Yeah. The only move to defend it is to play here, but then you could play c4. Then h6. Then, then you could just take and take. I didn't see that. Yeah, knight g5 hitting e6 is, is probably winning. Do you actually play video games? I've played thousands and thousands of hours of video games on my Nintendo Switch and also Nintendo DS. I played a lot of Nintendo video games. Mm -hmm. A5 continuing your plan. So, okay, not bad. 
But yeah, yeah, I think you were just winning. I played a couple of times video games. I played yeah. Smash. Smash. Yeah, we played some Smash. I was no good. I kept falling off the platform. Much like in Mario. <laughs> Which, as, as we discussed earlier. They all, all those games are made like you can fall off. Yeah, it's a platforming fighter. It's platforming and a fighter. All in one. Mm-hmm. A6, that's an interesting move. You could do a lot of things here. You could keep the tension. Or you could take, but I don't really think taking is good. But that's pushing just, is interesting, though. I was trying to figure out what the, what the correct thing to do was. Yeah. Which do you think is better? What I'd was, probably maintain the tension. stay there? Okay. Because I don't think he can break it. Like, if he plays A6 to stop you for playing A6, then you're happy to take because he has to take with the C pawn instead of the A pawn. Right. So he doesn't really want to play A6, and he doesn't really want to play C or BA, right? So um, in that way, the, the tension favors you. You can always push, and you can always take. He can't stop you from doing that stuff. Okay. He can't play b5 either. So you might be letting him off the hook a little bit, but I still think that in general a6 is going to be better than taking because this is really good for you. Your pawn is like almost a queen. So right. any, any end game is good for you now. Yeah. Yeah. Chess is a low-tech video game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here... So yeah, you're playing well positionally. I mean, you're outplaying him positionally. That's a good move. Knight e5 is good. I mean, your position is great, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is this is not right. If anything, never play f3. But he has like a stonewall formation here. Mm -hmm. Generally, in a stonewall, you don't want to take this knight. He'll always play f takes, and the rook is good, and they have a lot of space in the center. Okay. But yeah, I think f3 would be pretty good. It loosens up your dark squares, but I don't think that matters right now. Okay, so, but I was, I mean, I felt like I needed to get rid of the knight, because so you're saying mm -hmm. f3 was bad, would be bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the knight is good, you're right. Yeah. You get rid of that knight, but uh, letting him play f takes is also good for him. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that either, I just hated the mm -hmm. knight. <laughs> yes, yes, I understand, yeah. <laughs> then this is probably wrong also. Well, maybe not, maybe not, because c6 is weak. In fact, later in the game you had a strong move yeah i mean of course you should uh, move a rook to the c file because mm -hmm. then he can't even play rook c8 you just take it for free yeah here it's knight c6 forking the queen and bishop forcing him to sack the exchange even here you're at least equal but you could have been winning. I mean, in fact, the whole game you were just outplaying him and you could have been winning were the, your only mistakes. But yeah, I shouldn't probably trade white square bishops, right? You know, his white square bishop was so passive. Mm -hmm. But even here, you're at least equal, if not better. Yeah, but just played too slow. No, you played a great game, but just too slow, and, and you didn't punish when it was, like, more winning. You just kept it good strategic advantage the whole game yeah but good game mm -hmm. man we have almost no viewers our people are all pog oh yeah only 25 pog champs that is sad people which um two minutes is worth five exchanges all who's right. playing today ludwig and who else um anyway well i can see why the people want to watch that it is a special event. Well, maybe if it was Rain Wilson again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hey, Cathal Boss. All right, let me just keep playing another one. All right. I mean, I don't even know about having the lesson today. What's your opinion? Because we just got started so late. I understand. We're talking to today about maybe changing our schedule. It's hard for us to stream on Tuesdays. Um, so today's going to be a short one anyway. So maybe we just hang out and just play games. That's fair. Yeah, that way we just kind of can be more flexible when Jill gets here. Yeah, and then I can complain more about the scalpers. <laughs> yeah. I know well, I should be able to do things everybody hates, and seems, nobody can make fun of me about seems it. Seems like there should be laws. I, but yes, I don't, yes. I don't understand. And there doesn't even have to be. All that has to happen is that companies like Best Buy and, and, and Amazon and such stand up to it for the consumer, for us. Mm-hmm. Then I would love them. I'm still going to buy stuff from Amazon like all the time. <laughs> but still, come on, stand up for me. The consumer. 
If it wasn't for me, you, there would just be other people to replace me. Ben said he's streaming at 6. Yes, exa that's exactly the plan, Kangaroo. He'll stream at, at 6 and we'll raid him. Weak color complexes sound seems really interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. If you like chess, you know, if you're into that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll probably do it tomorrow. Sorry, it just didn't work out. Today was rough. And then I got here kind of in a bad mood. It's hard to get here. I have a lot of stuff that I have to do every day. <laughs> yeah. And so we got started late. It's yeah, Tuesday's up. busy for the club, too. Yeah. So we got just, a tournament. I have two lessons. It's difficult. So maybe we're going to move some stuff around. Let me see here. Uh... Mr. Beast is playing. Yeah, yeah, we know that. <clears throat> I never really uh, knew who Mr. Beast was, but I heard of him. Pretty good name. You know, pretty good name. I think it's solid, you know. Mm -hmm. By the way, I love PogChamp's Kappa. <laughs> yeah. 42 viewers. That's pretty good. Wait, who's loving on it? Scottish like Demon Goat. Oh. Of course. Well, you know, I can see liking it or not liking it. I like um, to watch a little bit of it. And then it gets old. I just started. Yeah. But yeah, I, I was watching a title Tuesday today. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was watching Ferruja. He had a really interesting game against uh, Grandilius. Nils Grandilius. Crazy mm -hmm. game. I had no idea what was going on. You know, I was only half paying attention anyway, but <laughs> it was still like so complicated. And uh, eventually, Ferruja won. But it was it was a great game. And then Naka, I heard he had a mouse slip, or something. And he said, "Frankly, I'm not playing in the tournament anymore." I think that's what happened. <laughs> this is what they were saying on in Ferruja's channel. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I love watching Ferruja. He's so strong. He's so strong. According to his statistical analysis, this only 15% of purchases are being scalped. Yeah, that's true that Sony didn't make enough, but there's there's no way that only 15% of PS5s are being scalped. I mean, if you go to try to buy a PS5, it's immediately you can't do it anymore. You know, I remember going to GameStop. On, it was like some dates, like in December and uh, I went in midnight 1201 and then it's like it's already sold out yeah so I mean maybe but but okay I mean if you say that it's not the scalpers fault then that's potentially true I mean even 15% is kind of a lot actually But if you want to pay twice the price, yeah. Oh, that's so nice of the scalpers to give me a chance if I want to pay twice the price. <laughs> that's that's so honorable of them, <laughs> yes. But yeah, obviously it's partially Sony's fault. But I remember when the PS5 was being announced, they like doubled up on the orders. They doubled up on it. But uh, maybe there's some COVID restriction, too. They can't get a lot of consoles produced because of COVID, perhaps. I don't know. But anyways, I'm mad about it. <clears throat> That's all I know for real. Mm -hmm. Well, that all sounds bogus. Yeah. I hate when things are bogus. Bogus. Oh, he did. I thought he would just uh, not yeah. see that, but I guess he did. Yeah. Still, I wouldn't complain too much with the white pieces. Mm-hmm. 
true. China's ruling everything. I, for one, welcome our Chinese overlords. <laughs> yeah, China is pretty tough. China, what about China? Don't worry about that. Just uh, worry about not losing on time. Okay. It's just a Scottish demon goat joke. Yeah. Always play Bishop F8. Oh, it's Mick Jurgle. Subscribing at tier one. Thanks, Mick Jurgle. Both sides improving their king. That's what you like to see. Some logical chess. And king c5, accurate move too. Look at that fork town. Mm -hmm. Dang, the rock's getting pretty tough. Yeah, this isn't good for me. Come on, lose on time now. By July, Sony will have enough PS5s? I'll believe it when I see it, Bonarichi. I'll believe it when I see it. You believe what now? That Sony will have enough PlayStation 5s Darn. by July. It does seem like a simple thing. All right, why can't I just make more? Come on. Made it. Good game by The Rock. All right, he GG. played it pretty solid. Yeah, you did. GG The Rock Obama. I had wanted to get one of those PlayStations yes. for my kids for Christmas, but I guess it worked out because I don't think they were going to play with, play with it. It's a waste of money anyway. Hey, imaginary friend. GG The Rock Obama. Cold. Imaginary friend. It's cold. Did, you, did I enjoy any of the book? I haven't read much of it yet. Hey, actor Laramie. So I can't speak to it, but tomorrow we're, or Thursday we're going to the casino again, so I'm going to get another chance to look at it. <laughs> it looks good, though. So here, uh, you know I'd recommend this one. I couldn't remember... Um, I know that you that you want me to control, I guess, E5, but I couldn't remember. Because I thought it had something to do with with whether they moved their bishop or not. It has to do with their C pawn. Right. So I like to go here and take when their pawn's still on C7. Because that structure is extra bad when their pawns are like that. But if they haven't moved their bishop out, can't they just go bishop D7? Oh, that's okay, but that's still pretty passive. And even if they play bishop takes... Their bishop's kind of bad there. Mm -hmm. So they're wasting time to like make their bishop not very good. You can still put your knight here. And potentially even still take and double their pawns. Mm -hmm. Or make them waste more time moving their bishop around. Okay. I couldn't remember. Basically, I... here's how I, I remember it. Mm -hmm. if, if they're playing knight c6 blocking their c-pawn, then I, remember, I drop it down. I remember that part too. I thought though that, um, that it was better like, if they'd already moved their bishop out. Well, maybe, but one thing is if you play knight here, they should play bishop g4, which is mm -hmm. a good bishop move, <clears throat> yeah. pinning your knight. Because, <clears throat> again, it's all about e5, right, mm -hmm. like you were saying. And bishop g4 controls e5, which normally a white square bishop can't control e5, so that's good for him to do that. Instead, he played g6, which is bad. You shouldn't play g6 without the ability to play c5 and open up for your bishop or e5. You can't even play c5 or e5 here. So your bishop's going to be pretty bad on g7, uh, the rock. You should play in a more classical way. When you're fianchettoing your bishops, that's a more hyper-modern style. But you're playing in a classical way right now. You've developed your pieces, and you're controlling the center and occupying the center with your pawn. So just keep developing cla in a classical way. Get out your white square bishop, play e6, play bishop d6. That's the most classical way to develop your pieces. That's how you do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, that would be a good day, latent potential. 
He played pretty well. Okay, Scottish Demon Goat. I mean, he's he's nine hundred. So what do you want? <laughs> what do you say? Played pretty solid, wasn't he? Down a piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, he still did the best he could. Come on, it's a nine hundred playing a blitz game. What do you expect? But yeah, White's better here. I think so far, perfect play. Really good stuff. Not bad at all. You know, not bad play at all. Now here, uh, the main thing I'd be worried about with both sides, it's e5. If he plays e5, his position will be justified. If he doesn't play e5, it's difficult for him to attack the center because he can't play c5. Or e5 if we stop him. So that's the name of the game, is stopping e5. So like a move like a6 doesn't really have anything to do with that, except maybe bishop b5, I guess. But rook e1 and, and b5, like these moves don't have anything to do with e5. So they're probably not the most efficient use of tempo. But still not bad. But then here, yeah, here for example, e5 is coming. Maybe you could play a4 right away to distract him. Mm -hmm. I think a6, b5 is just not positionally correct. I mean, especially, look how backwards this guy is too. No, yes. h3 is, was correct, if not best. Maybe even she could have played it earlier, actually. But yeah, it's a fine move. How's it going, PPRTS1? Mm -hmm. Hey, PPRTS1. <laughs> yes, I'm the same way Scottish Demon Goat. That's why I became a chess coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he never played E5, so... Yeah, you gotta try to play E5. A4, good. Yes, A4 is good. Good move. Now you're better. Now you're winning on the queen side. But yeah, don't give him the A file. Just double it up. Yeah. Double mint gum. <laughs> but you wanted that extra pawn, right? Yeah. But then he gets counterplay. Like, I'd rather, if I had white, I'd rather be up a clean pawn, he has no counterplay, than up two pawns, but he has counterplay. That's true. Just it's easier to win that way. But this should still be a win. Finally, he goes e5, x clam. Very good move. Very good stuff. Oh, wait, actually, he can't take it back, so that was not a very good move. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> I thought he had it defended enough, but obviously he doesn't. He did before, but he moved his rook away. Yeah. So now he's just dead lost, yeah. This was good. Okay, but basically you lost control. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. He played here hanging the e-pawn. Obviously that's not right. Um, but even still, you know, even still, like here. Um, okay, f4 is probably not necessary. Here's what I would do. Take that stupid knight, right? <laughs> Just get that stupid knight out of here. <laughs> You know, and then go here, start ta targeting him. Okay. And then your next plan is king a5. Yeah, I should have got rid of the knight. Yeah, get that stupid knight out of here. But now it's tough because his knight's attacking all your stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sinbad. I know, I hated that knight. I didn't make the right choice. Yeah, now it's even not, uh... It's not winning, I guess. And then he, from here on, he could have forked you. Yeah, I just didn't see it. Yeah. And then here, even he could always fork. And then finally he found it. So, I mean, he was never a piece down, right? Uh, Scottish Demon Goat, you lied. Black was never a piece down here. He was just down some pawns. Mm -hmm. Oh, wasn't the knight hanging? Maybe I missed it, and that's what he's talking about. Karen avoids simplifications 90% of the time. Hmm? When was the night hanging? Maybe before all this? No, you can't. I mean, what? Why? I wouldn't simplify. When they traded queens. Maybe. I didn't pay attention, I guess. Ah, here. Yes, yeah, that's true. Queen takes. I didn't see that. That defends the rook. Oh, yeah. That would have been better. Totally. So he did hang a piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I missed that too. I wasn't paying attention. I thought you'd play queen c8, yeah. Well, different people, if you mean what I think you mean about simplifications. Like, for example, different coaches feel differently about it. And Ben actually, I don't know how you feel about it, but Ben doesn't really like trading you know, trading off if you're ahead material. All right, I always tell my students not to listen to that. Right, Ben doesn't like that either. So I mm -hmm. guess it just depends on who you talk to. So I try not to do it. I'll try to uh, open up the club, huh? Yeah, that's true. We do need to do that. Be right back. All right. I'll keep playing. All right, I'm going to play somebody. Spencer's just going to unlock the front door. 
and Ben's actually up there today so it's not as awkward yeah uh, <laughs> smoking You like to simplify so you don't hang your queen? <laughs> yeah. My dad said uh, that I will, um, or that he can replace me when I'm teaching Jill. Oh, okay. If you wanted. Yeah, definitely. Then we can keep going. Mm. I didn't get a chance to set up the Discord, but I need to. And I really need um, a staff. That's what I need. <laughs> I need a staff. So I don't know. But... I gotta hire a couple of people to help me get caught up. And then part of that is getting the Discord going, which I know is like a two second task, but. Yeah, it's true that a lot of times trading prevents your opponent's counterplay, but um, like in that way, you're trading to prevent your opponent's counterplay, not just for the sake of trading. And some people trade pieces when it doesn't prevent counterplay. Like their opponent's piece was passive, but they traded anyway. And so that's never really smart to trade uh, your opponent's bad pieces away, whether you're winning or not. But basically, uh, trading is never should never be your end result. It's a means to an end. I traded because blank. I had a bad bishop, so I traded it. You know, gets rid of my bad piece for his good piece. Or my king was weak, so I traded queen, so I wouldn't get checkmated. That's That's all it is. You know what it is. When you pin a knight, always take it. Yeah. I feel like trading when down on time is helpful. I guess, but... I mean, it's always better to just play objectively strong moves. That's always the best thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So if trading is the best move, then yeah, do it. And somehow it has to pace. Oh, yeah. And you were doing so well, too. Yeah. That was pretty simple. Remove this, you know, divert me over. I should have taken with the pawn. Spencer probably thought I wouldn't be able to mate with a rook. Well, the Rock Obama, I knew how to mate with a rook when I was four years old, so I don't really find it to be difficult. <laughs> you know, I was sure you could do it. You even had a knight to help. But the knight could hurt. It could stalemate, you know. It's almost impossible to stalemate king and rook against king. You have to have the opponent's king in the corner, and then, and then you're rook on, like, g7 or b2 or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I thought you could do it, of course. Come on. Yeah, you know, simplifying into a completely winning endgame is also a good idea. Like a king and pawn endgame where you're up a pawn or two. Why not simplify into that if you know it's a win? You know, assuming your opponent doesn't have pass pawns, it's not complicated. But that can go wrong, too, Scottish Team and Goat. A lot of times people will simplify, for example, into a rook endgame. That's actually a draw. Hey, what's going on? This famous Indian comedian streamer wants to host me and stream and stuff, so I told him to contact you. So make sure you get me on his stream. He wants to do... He has host... like two, two trillion followers. Dang. Sam Arena is a famous... Oh, we talked about him before. Yeah, he said he likes my stream and he wants to host me. I told him to contact you. So he might contact you on Twitter or on your email because he has both. Um, yeah, we can talk about it. 
Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter to me. We, but we already talked about it before. <laughs> we already talked about this before, is so. all. No, he contacted me. Okay. We haven't talked about this ever. We have talked about it. I'll talk to you about it when I'm not playing a game. I don't think you understand what happened. But I love draws. I don't love draws. No, I'm not having some nice on. Good game. I just keep hanging my pawns. I can't really talk and play. Yeah, we talked about it. Um, one of your uh, fans, which was a different scenario. I understand it's different. He re- reached out to you. But one of your fans uh, was pointing us to that um, YouTube channel because a couple of the other right, this is him contacting. streamers... Yeah. Uh, I know. I, I wasn't that impressed, but we can do it. You yeah, can do it. It's just your stream. That's what I'm saying. I just I didn't like his stream that much. All right, so let's take a look at this one. It looked like you played the opening pretty well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a Tardikauer, mainline Tardikauer. He played C takes, which is an interesting move, one of the many, many moves that White has here. And now bishop a6 is probably inaccurate. I don't know for sure, but it seemed like he got some initiative here. Okay. He took it and played queen a4. I think that's smart for him yeah, to do because yeah. he got the initiative. It's good that you traded the bishops, I guess, but it cost you some time. Mm. So the way to play this is, is how Fisher taught us. Bishop e6. It's kind of weird to not play bishop b7 when you've already played b6. But after your opponent gonna, exchanges, yeah. this is a good square for your bishop. You're going to go here Mm -hmm. and get a hanging pawns formation. Like, let's say, for example, this. And then he doesn't have to take, but eventually he will. Yeah. And then you get this hanging pawns formation. This is the best square for your bishop in this structure. Fisher taught us this uh, by playing from the black side, actually, even though he's more of a King's Indian player. He still decided this was the best way to go. And even today, 60 years later or so, it's it's considered the correct antidote to an early C takes D. That's why a lot of people with... uh, and this isn't the only move, but it's not a bad move. Mm. A lot of people, they'll play like a waiting move. Then when you go here, they'll try to take like this. So then if your pawn's here, your bishop's on the wrong square. It right. should be on e6. Okay. And a lot of people even do this. They'll take here and then here. So you can't play knight takes. So they'll give up a tempo and the bishop here to put your bishop here and make you play pawn takes. Kind of funny how that works out. Mm-hmm. But uh, even still here, at least you have the bishop here to compensate for that. The fact that your white square bishop is not great. Um, so yeah, that's this is your the next step in your learning this opening. When they play c takes, if you can play bishop e six later, that's the way to do it. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I think when I moved um, b six, I was going to go bishop b seven, but then I. Um, Changed my mind. What are you laughing at? This Fisher taught us this and the truth about 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, yeah, trading off white square bishops, it is a good idea, but like we were saying, it's the time that got you. Now your knight's a little funky. All right, a little funky knight. So he castled out of the fork. And then this is where you lost the piece, yeah. Because your knight is, uh, like, yeah, I would call yeah, it yeah. loose. Yeah. But you could call it under-defended. You could play some move, like probably c5's the move, you know? No, no, it's still tough after he kicks you, because if you go here, you're trapped. And then you don't have a square. No, this is tough. Queen a4 is a good move by the opponent, because uh, it's tough for your knight. And you could play a5 and knight a6, but don't mm-hmm. really want to play that, you know? Don't really want to play that. So yeah, it's already tough for you here, I would say. I mean, the only way to save it, I guess, is I could have taken with the pawn when he took my knight. Oh, yeah, yeah, but that's also horrible. Yeah. I know. Right, right. I understand. It's better you, than what You happened. could, uh, yeah, you have to set up here a better defense, like to defend your knight again. Maybe yeah. this runs into this, though, so it's not going to work. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I guess you have to play a5. Well, you can see what the engine says, huh? Yeah. c5 is a move. No, it just it just likes white a lot here. Yeah. G G five is an interesting move. B six was the move of the game. <laughs> B six was a, the best move in the position. Mm-hmm. I think he's laughing at the move. But that was a long time ago. <clears throat> yeah. My moves aren't the best, but. I think he meant because Scottish demon gods, right? Oh, oh, because we. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's true. I forgot that's his little pet move. Yeah. <laughs> Tough game. Tough game. GG, though. GG. Sorry, I wasn't better. <laughs> Well, is Jill here yet? I guess she's she is. Here. She's in the parking lot, but she usually does like a, what is it, knitting? She likes to knit, so she usually spends some time knitting okay. before our lesson. Well, when she comes in, then we can switch out with Ben, and then yeah. we can go a little bit longer. Totally, totally. Mm. Totes. You could say totes. Totes. Man, I guess the Pog Champs is still going on for the day, though. <clears throat> yeah, Doc, Dr. X Miss Easy, Karen mentioned that option to play G Ticks. But, um, and that's obviously better than losing a piece, but it's still yeah. suboptimal, to say the least. Don't try to pay focus a little better. This It was hard. I was talking to Ben. I was, it was a difficult situation. <laughs> oh, no problem, Dr. X Miss Easy. Pog is over now. Yeah. That's good. That's good for society. I mean, for, you know, for us <laughs> to get more viewers. Two bishops, what else? Mm -hmm. Pin the tail on the donkey. Karen went to a lot of birthdays where that was the game, so she's applying what she knows to this game. I like it. Can you play me next, please? I don't know. Your name is Pennywise Kills You. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know if I'd want to play somebody like that. I have 100,000 channel points. Good for you, Scottish Demon Goat. Now you have 380 less. I can no longer say two bishops without following up with what else. Bishop c2 is creative. Not really. <laughs> right? Bishop c2, queen d3 wasn't particularly creative. Not that it was bad, but you know. Oh, right, right. Yeah, see, that was the idea, KQ. The classic one, two, punch. What was the classic one? When he played bishop, c2, queen, d3. It was the classic uh, battery, you know. Pog champs based on right wing conspiracy theorist. Is that true? I don't, I don't really know. No, this is terrible. It's not so bad. Just a pawn down. What about the right wing? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the guy who was the face of the PogChamp emote said things, yes. I'll believe it. I'll believe that. Dang, this guy's pretty good. Max and Jack. Mm hmm Definitely. I'm going to lose something here. Everyone loved him, but turns out he's a nut. Well, sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Karen defending like Caruana. I thought that Caruana's, uh, like, uh, what's it called? The picture, like avatar picture on chess.com should be uh, Luigi, you know, from Mario Bros. Because his middle name is Luigi, that I just learned recently. That, that's what I would do if I were him. GM Benjamin Feingold says, still theory. I 
I like Ben's pick with Child Spencer. Yeah, those were the days. Ben's pick with Child Spencer. Yeah, on chess.com. Mm -hmm. That is good. Luigi doesn't roll off the tongue enough? Is that a joke? Is that an ironic joke? Good game. Oh, he's got Tigran V Petrosian there. You see him? <laughs> Not Tigran L, of course. All right, GG, Max and Jack. I didn't win any of my games today. I must have been sluggish for like a month. You've been playing well, but just too slowly. I know. So, uh, yeah, I mentioned that Super GMs, I don't know why, but they play H6 before castling. Mm -hmm. It might have something to do with how your opponent played here. He took and then took here. But I don't know, I didn't really feel like he was better here. Then this is like a pretty weird stunt here, you know, to go for this. Now, so here's the move, right? C6. C6, easy move. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember what I did. Well, you played rookie 8, which isn't so bad. But queen b3 is always the problem, right? Which is what he did later. He castled first. Maybe he should play queen b3 first. I don't know. Yeah. But then after a6, still c6. After a6, mm -hmm. queen b3, now you're in trouble. So... Pennywise kills you, says, I sent a challenge. Yeah. If you win, I give you loads of donations. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here would be the move, though. This is just a classic uh, exchange Queen's Gambit structure. C takes, E takes, usually play C6. Mm -hmm. And then you can maneuver the knight around, like knight F8 to E6 or to G6. Or you can even try to get it to D6, like that. Why a6? I didn't want the... Right. Um, I was actually wondering that, too. You didn't want knight b5, maybe? Yeah. I didn't yeah. want the knight winging in. But what's nice is c6 even stops that. Yeah, that's and true. And it protects the bottom. Yeah, I should have just gone c6. And then queen b3, queen b6. Yeah, that's just the standard, you know, structure anyway. Yeah, that's true. You were nervous, Max and Jack? Well, you're obviously way stronger than me. So... <laughs> Hey, Ovi, how's it going? Ovi's in here? Yeah. I didn't see him. Oh, there he is. There he is. What's up, Ovi? Yeah, and then he played a great he played a great game. He targeted C6, and there's nothing you could do about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Good game by Max and Jack. He just played a solid game. The only thing that he could have that could have been wrong is that he didn't play Queen B3 first. He castled first. That's the only thing that could be wrong, but maybe it is, even isn't. No, no, queen b3 does give an advantage, yeah. But that was seriously his only inaccuracy, so that was a good game by Max and Jack. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get nervous sometimes too, Scottish Demon Goat? We didn't get any snow, Darth Ziggler. Right, it was weird because we got a lot of rain, mm -hmm. and then now today it's like below freezing, but no yeah, rain. Yeah, we got a little so bit of... So we missed the snow. I mean, there was know. a little bit of white participation. I yeah. guess it was more eyes than anything. Sleet, yeah. Maybe yeah. there was a tiny bit. Yeah, real cold. Oh, yeah. So. I mean, bishop C, bishop C2, queen D3 wasn't the best, but, you know, it's okay. It's, it wasn't the most precise, but mm -hmm. it's okay, you know. Oh, there's a lot of snow in Nashville. Mm. Well, I'm going to keep going. We're not doing a lesson today just because we got started so late. Ben's going to come in here in a minute, and Spencer's going to teach a lesson mm -hmm. ben, ben and i can hang out a little bit longer but the club is open so i'm not sure how long we can hang out you've been on your snowboard all day that's pretty cool mm -hmm. how many people are in the queue it was quite a long queue between five and ten people i would guess <laughs> I can't stand the being out in the cold. Yeah. <clears throat> it's tough. 
Mm. Pennywise has been lurking in the queue. Pennywise. Oh, Jill's here? Or when, or when the other people, people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you want to switch? You want to come in? Yeah, I can't stay for too long because I ordered food, but I can stay like 15 All right. minutes, I guess. I mean, she should be coming in any, any minute now. Um, okay, so I I thought that you were... Um, when are you streaming at 6? six? Okay. I'll stream when you're done. I can stream any time. I mean, the club's open. Yeah. So, I have to go work in a second. Hmm. I have to go work in a second. I hear too. Mm -hmm. It's Archer. He said that's a mommy. That's right. We're in a pandemic. I'm baller 13. Maybe he was in a coma for a year. Didn't know that. Let's see. Why is Ben wearing masks? See, I answered his question. Mm -hmm. Go, Karen. Frosty. I love to play Frosty. Frosty's, um, and I always have interesting games. Let me see. He always crushes me. <laughs> mm. He always crushes me. Always? Yeah, pretty much. His rating's a lot higher than your rating, but if you beat him or draw him, you'll be over. Oh, it's unrated. No, okay. Yeah. If it was rated, you could break, you know, a thousand or something. Mm hmm. Darn. I see that somehow.
Call one hold ten. Hey, your food is here. Yay. Let's put it right here. Thank you. Broken. Yay, there was some kind of noise. Mm -hmm. What happened? $5 donation from Alt F4 Pro. Yay, thank you, Alt F4 Pro. Now she can go to the movies by herself. GG Frosty. <laughs> Close. Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, do you want to, can you analyze the game for us? Mm -hmm. And he said that your food's here already? It's, yeah, he put it in here, too. So I don't know what you want to do, I mean, mm. with regards to the timing of everything. Yeah, here you can move your knight. Attacking his knight, his knight, 
So mm -hmm. if he takes your bishop, his pawns are all messed up. And if he moves his knight back, you can save your bishop. And your move's also good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that move's a little strange. Knight b3. Well, the reason why I did that is I thought if he went um, g4, mm -hmm. it'd give me a, a square other than g1 for, yeah, my, that's true. for my knight. So I was just trying to make room. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And he took. Yeah, I wouldn't take that because you have a nice center pawn here. But mm -hmm. it's not that bad. Yeah, I don't like b6 for him. It, just, it seems weird. Yeah, here you could play knight c6. Oh, I guess you can't play knight c6. Never mind. All right, so you played there. Wait, what? Yeah, now here I thought you should play knight b5. Wait, can, can you go back? Right. What were you talking about? I, I said you could go here, but then I changed my mind. Oh, okay. But in this position, you could play knight b5 because he has these weak squares that your knight can enter. So like after knight here, you're threatening his queen. And then if he trades queens, you're threatening knight c7, winning his rook, and your knight has this really nice square. So this is more aggressive to, you know, trying to get there. Okay. Yeah, that's not a great square for your knight. You have to fix it somehow. And then queen h5 I like. Yeah, like here I would play knight a3 because your knight can't go anywhere here. But so these squares are empty. Can you go back? Because mm -hmm. I guess I just didn't say something right. Um, so yeah, I wasn't sure when I retreated my knight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in, you said I should move. Here. Um, yeah, because you have access to these squares because he played c5. I thought that if I went there, then they would go a6. Well, his queen's hanging, so he's got to do something about that. Okay, so let's... Um, okay, so let's say I go there and they take, and then... If you take back, takes. you're threatening rook here check, and you're threatening knight c7, and your knight has d6. Okay, so yeah, so they wouldn't, have, they wouldn't have time to kick the knight. Yeah, I didn't see yeah. all that. Okay. And then here, I wouldn't play takes. Since your knight's not good here, I would play there. And that way, if he takes your bishop, your knight takes. Now your knight's good on c4. And get your knight to some better squares. I've okay, better hang squares. on one second. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pennywise uh, kills, but we have a, mm -hmm. a long queue. But uh, maybe next time. This I do. Position's okay. I would love to play you sometime. Yeah, then you blundered a piece here with a4. So you could either play rook here, which is why you played there, then you're threatening to like fork. Mm -hmm. Or you could play king b1, which defends your pawn on a2. Then your knight has the c1 square if he plays a4. So king b one's okay, rook here is okay. This just, you blundered a piece. Mm -hmm. then, then later in the game, he, uh, oops, later in the game, he blundered by playing knight d3 check. So here, he should play knight g6, defending his bishop, and he's just up a piece. But he checked you, and now you're now you're getting your piece back. <laughs> you can't mm -hmm. defend it, so that's good. Yeah, and this looks like, you know, you should be doing okay, although he's threatening knight c4 check, and then he's gonna do something bad. So I think in this position, he, he should have played rook e6. I thought he would, but yeah, I didn't know it, what else to do. Right, then when you move your queen, he has knight c4 check, and you, you can't defend everything. Mm -hmm. So this this helps you, I think. Yeah, I was And then here it was just, you know, who's going to win on time. I was really happy yeah. he played that. I was like, yay. Yeah, they yeah, just got to, got you know, if you play faster than him, you would win on time. Yeah. You played really fast at the end when you were playing all this. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Darn. Yeah. I just should have done more pre-moves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was really close. That was a close game. Yeah, you got a gift sub. You're the mm, best. Thank you, Matthew. Yeah, I don't know mm -hmm. why he's uh, wearing a mask right now. We are open, but there's nobody here really. But anyway, well, so let's talk about the schedule. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I could go ahead and assume, but you're not done. I guess you want to eat. Mm -hmm. First, so tell me what how you want it to play out. 
you can when you finish just read me um okay yeah you know, i can eat on my stream or not it doesn't matter when do you want to finish i mean it, the club's open so okay. i should probably go up front so you want to finish now yeah we all can right. finish now but right. you have to get set up and stuff yeah all right. so maybe i'll play one more game okay, okay guys yeah you know, i'll just eat while i'm, while I'm uh, all right whatever you want to do yeah. um Yeah, I'm going to play one more, but I have to play, um, maybe this is you. Who is Psychotic Murderer? Oh, that is you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> are you are going to, but that's a three, two. I don't really like increment that much. Hey, send me a three minute real quick, Psychotic Murderer, Pennywise. <laughs> Are there more old or young people at the club? It's all ages. All ages. Children, adults, young people, old people. All right, last game of the stream. And then um, I'm going to raid Ben. Normally, we're going to try to figure something different on Tuesdays. It's difficult for me to stream because the club's open and I can't get up here till later, etc. So, anyway, not a big deal, just a problem to solve. Is it worth walking 0.4 miles to Applebee's? <laughs> um, you know, I don't like Applebee's. So you've asked the right person. I would, um, because I have a very strong opinion. I can't stand their food. I wouldn't even walk there if it were free. That's how, how much I hate their food. But, um... You know, that's just me. <laughs> Walk The walking part's good. Hey, Fremont. <laughs> that's true. That part's good. But um, I don't quite get why people like Applebee's. It's gross. <laughs> but, you know. Let me see. Man, you're so aggressive. Uh, psychotic killer. Let me see what I should do. I can't even push the pawn. Mm. Let's see. All right. Well, let me come back over here. This seems really bad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're a Smurf. Well, um, darn, there's nothing I can even do. Is there? 
I can go here. Get a little lift. A little lift. I've got point three left. <laughs> All right. I don't know what to do about my speed problem. All right. All right. GG, psychotic murderer. <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed the game. I would love to play you again, but I think if Ben is streaming already, I'm going to raid him because the club's open. I got to get up front etc but let me see if he's streaming I didn't hear him talking so maybe he's not do you guys know if he's streaming yet see you Pennywise good night I enjoyed our game <laughs> crushed me not yet all right well let's play another one <laughs> bye, bi bye, Bishop Takes. All right, I'm going to play one more. I don't know where Ben is. But. My king's looking pretty naked there. Don't don't know that that was the right thing to do. Anyway, hey, Pawn Hub Chess. <laughs> gave away my piece. He gives away piece, but them might get mated. Mm. I 
like I'm going to get mated. But I got to go. Got to go. Oh, I did. There is a mating one. Don't see it, Matthew. Come on. Don't see it. You can do it. <laughs> I already didn't see it. Uh, oh, but there's about to be a discovered. Discovered something other that's not going to be good for me. Not going to be good. Now, come on. Miss it. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I deserve everything bad coming my way. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going to lose. Okay, let me, I'm just going to resign. That's terrible. This has devolved into, you know, nonsense. GG, Matthew. Let me see what's going on. Oh, I think it looks like Ben is streaming now. He's so quiet I couldn't hear him. So we're going to raid Ben. You guys are going to forgive all that bad chess. <laughs> and give me a chance another day. That's what you got to do. Bye, Pawn Hub. Let's see. All right. I can't type. Okay. See you guys. Bye. Love you guys. See you.